94.3 WYBC, the rhythm of the city. I'm one Castillo, and of course, it's the workforce. And it is my pleasure to announce the Canna Health Local Hero of the Month for September. And it is local hero Junie Johnson from New Haven. She was nominated by Marvin McFadden from Hamden. And uh, I have Marva here with me, and I also have Junie. Marva, how you doing? Hi, Junie. I'm Hi. doing okay. Good, Hi. good, good, good. So uh, let's go to you, Marva, first. Uh, tell us about why you decided to nominate uh, Junie. <laughs> I, I nominated Junie because during, during this pandemic, that lady's over 70 years old, and she's running back and forth for everybody. No matter who it is, she take care of kids and everything. And I feel like she is, you know, I nominated her because I feel like she deserves something to be recognized. And she don't say no. You might say, uh, I said, Junior, I don't have no lights off. Next day I know she on my at my house with some lights off. Oh, yeah. see that. You know, she does it for everybody. She just move, she moved like the energized bunny. Nothing <laughs> stops. <laughs> Nothing stops her. And I feel like, you know, she's well deserved the nominee. That's wonderful. And you know, and so often, you know, we had these unsung heroes in our community that that you know go unnoticed. And so that's the reason why Canada Health and WYVC has decided to do this. But let's go to Junie. Junie, um, I know I know you, you know, you are very, very committed to uh to the Lord, right? And you know, tell us about why is it that you do this and and tell us about your church and your pastor, because I know that's important to you. Well, I when this first started, I have to put this in there. I got a phone call and I was on my way to do a dinner for a fundraiser for the church towards uh, the pastor anniversary, which Sister Marva here is co- uh, chairperson and um it happened so fast and i got a phone call telling me that in 24 hours that we wasn't going to be able to get certain things and the person said to me say are you going out to the store i said yes i am they said well can you please pick up me some things i don't have no food Wow. I go home with my daughter. Take that your time. Take take your time. Take your time. I go with my daughter and I told her what I had heard. And then it was a 75 year 78 year old lady that needed to go to the store. And I told her I was on my way. And uh, I told my grandson he had to get ready to go with me because I didn't have, I needed him to lift stuff. Well, I went in the store out there in Hampton and I got, uh, I ended up getting some things that I knew that the person lacked. And I froze up and I said, I was by the meat. I said, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. And someone heard me and they said, he'll help you. I said, but I'm stuck. I, it was like I froze up. I said, now I ask this person all the time, do they need anything? And um, here I am. They tell me, you know, most of what I like. And I just got, a, I just froze for a minute. And the guy said, oh, he, go ahead on, you got it. And I did, I went and everything that I got, was things that they needed and i drove up on the side street i told my grandson that go ahead take it out sit it on the step he took the stuff and sit it on the step and i say and you keep coming because they're gonna i'm telling them that to come outside they're gonna try to give you money but you don't take it mm -hmm. and i say you just say you're welcome and come on back to the car and he, he did as I did, and they were trying to run to catch a car, and I pull off. That's where it started from. Mm. Um, mm. There's never a time that someone asked me if I don't have it, 
I try to get it for them. But I sit down and I said, I said, Lord, I've got two children working in the hospital. Mm. What if they don't make it out? Yes, ma'am. I didn't see neither one of them. I just talked with the grandkids and talked with my uh, the oldest one. But they never came by the, you know, the back to say hi or anything. And I knew that it was serious. So I said, Lord, I got I got these three children, siblings here that belong to somebody else. I say, that's gonna keep me busy, but I need something else I need to do. And it came to me, say, you know what? You get up, they're not gonna be able to find the Lysol and the Clorox and stuff to need. And also the food, I would get up early in the morning. I would start trying to be out of the house by 5.30 so I could make the Senior Citizen Day on Tuesdays. Mm. I would start out at Walmart, I leave Walmart, then I would go to Shot right in West Haven, and when I leave from there, I hit um, exit eight to that Walmart and shot right, and I leave from there. Then I will go across to uh, Targets for Senior Citizens started at eight o'clock, and I will hit there and leave from there, and then I will go to BJ's. And that's what my morning consists of. And I will be back to the house by nine o'clock. No, I will stop down the street to pick up the lunches for the kids, the breakfast and the lunches. And then I will be back at by nine o'clock, a little after nine. And I will tell the 16 year old, tell your brother to go downstairs and get ready for to get on uh, the computer so he could do his work. And um, that's how my day went every day. Well, that's that's awesome. I mean, and you know what? Uh, see, see, God sometimes sent us an angel down here, and angels come in different forms, right? And and you one of those angels, and we want to recognize the fact that you do this work because of your connection to the Lord and your connection to your church and your connection to this community. And I want to personally, you know, commend you and salute you for the work that you do. And of course, you know, uh, Marva, you know, uh, just eloquently let us know, you know, what you were about. And that's the reason why we chose you. And our sponsor, Kind of Health, is extremely committed to doing this kind of work. And so is WYBC. And we are so happy that you, I, I was able to get you on the air so you can tell your story here today. I thank you. We thank you. This community thanks you. Uh, we really appreciate what you do. And, you know, we want to make sure that you knew that, right? Uh, and and I know I know sometimes, you know, and, and I know we talked earlier, you know, you you were concerned about, like, you know, going on the air and, 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 and talking, but you did a wonderful job. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And Marva, thank you for letting us know about her. Uh, this community needs more people like her. This world needs more people like her. Uh, and, uh, and, and I thank you. So listen, have a wonderful day. Uh, thank you so much for being on the air with me, okay? Yes. Very good. One Castillo, it's the Rhythm of the City, 94.3 WYBC. Local hero, man. Junie Johnson. Remember that name and put her in your prayers too. Put her in your prayers because she she needs she needs prayer too. All right. Juan Castillo, 94.3 WYBC, the rhythm of the city. All right.